Hey guys, welcome to Tech Space. My name's Nick, and on this week's video, we're gonna talk about special effects apps. Now, if you love special effects, then you're gonna love this video. Let's jump into it. So you wanna see some cool special effects apps. Now, over the last month, I've spent the time, I've done the hard work, I've searched through all the garbage apps to find you five amazingly cool apps. I had three criteria that they needed to make. The first one being that it was easy to use. The second being that it was free to download because I wanna bring you guys some free stuff. Now, some of these do have in-app purchase, but they are free to download. And the third one is it needed to be cool. Now, of these five apps, this is no water, it's not the first to last or whatever. I'm just gonna kick it off with the first app that I really liked. It's called 3D Brush. Now, 3D Brush is an augmented reality 3D painting app. Now, you may have seen this technology used on all those kind of Oculus Rifts and all those kind of virtual stuff. Well, this power of that technology is now in an app on your phone. So let's open up the app. Now, once you've opened up the app, it's laid out in two areas. You have your color palette slash effects area on the right or bottom, depending on your phone's orientation, and your camera viewer on the top or left. Now, rather than me trying to explain how this app works, let's just jump into it and see it in action. Now, as you can see, I'm able to move around in the real world and the app tracks me in virtual space while I'm painting. Now I put my finger on the screen and that basically acknowledges that's the paint and wherever I move the phone, it starts to paint. Now it did take me a little bit of time to get my head around this because you are moving in 3D space, but you've got to see it like the phone is the paintbrush and wherever you move the paintbrush, it will paint. Now there are some other cool little functionality here where you can put fireworks in. Now wherever I decide to push those fireworks in 3D space, that's where they'll keep exploding. And then I can constantly move the phone around and creating some really cool looks there. Now it has a whole bunch of different effects that once you unlock it, you can use, but on the free version, there are a bunch that are still cool to use. And if you're willing to watch an ad, you can unlock some. Now I have seen a bunch of people use this app on their TikToks, also in their Instagram Reels. You can kind of create some really dynamic looking videos. You can get creative. All in all, this app's pretty fun to play around with. You can create some really cool looks. So I was a big fan of this app. Now the second app that I want to talk about is called Inception. Now it's loosely based off the movie Inception. Now I don't know if you remember seeing that film, it was a lot of cool graphics in that and you would see cities bend over itself and all that kind of stuff. Well this app tries to duplicate that and I think it does a pretty good job. Once you open up the app, it's pretty simple. You can either shoot footage or you can load footage into it and it has all these different effects that you can apply to it. Now I thought this was very well done in the way that the footage is kind of laid out and then you just simply click and move along and then the different angles that it creates can sometimes take your footage that looks quite boring and make it look very unique. Now this also has an in-app purchase. It allows you to do certain things for free, but then if you want to extend out those different transitions and different looks, you are gonna to have to pay for it. But all in all for a free app to have fun with is very cool. Now our third app that we're gonna talk about on this video is actually an app that I have spoken about before in a video a few years ago, but I thought I'd bring it back up because the app actually has developed and it has added some new features to it. Now it's called Action Movie Effects. Once you open up the app, you present it with a whole bunch of different stock effects that you can choose from. There's everything from natural disasters with avalanches, flash floods, rough terrain falling. Then you've got aliens, you've got rockets, you've got F-16 fighter jets, police chases gone wrong, bombs. Any kind of visual effect that you can think of, they've usually put into this app. We've even got some Star Wars there and also Star Trek competing little things there happening, but I love it. Once you decide which effect that you want, you choose the effect, you click on it, and that brings up a five second preview that shows you what the animation is going to look like. Now it's super simple, you lay your footage up, you record for the amount of time that the red box says at the top. Once that's finished, you'll see a green box appear, then allows the app to process it, 
and then bam, your special effect is laid over your footage. Let's check it out. Now this is an app that is fun to play with. It's it's not gonna make you a Steven Spielberg overnight, but you know, it can take your videos to the next level if you wanna blow up things and make it look like a Hollywood movie. It is a very, very fun app to play with. Now our fourth app is called Glitch Studio. Now this is a little slightly different. This is a video filter app. Now the reason I wanted to show this is there are a lot of video filter apps out there, but this app I thought in particular had some very cool effects that you can overlay over your footage. And you can really create some really awesome looks with this. Now once you open up the app, you basically have your footage window at the top. Now this can either be preloaded footage that you've shot on a DSLR or footage that you just want to import into your phone, or you can shoot in-app footage. And along the bottom is all your different effects that you can apply to the footage. Now one of the cool features about this app is not only can you apply it to video footage, you can also apply it to stills and create GIFs, which I thought was really cool. Now they have a whole bunch of different effects, everything from bad VHS through to 1995. You can have some kind of cool trippy look. There's 8-bit, there's fire looks. It too also is free to download. You can get this app free, but if you do want to extend the, uh, the looks, you are gonna have to pay for it. But for a beginner and just to play around with, it is a really cool app and it's free. Before I go on to our fifth and final app, if you've been enjoying this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Now each week I'm gonna try and bring the coolest tech. I'm always gonna showcase it in a very unique way because that's my style. I mean, look at this set. Who has a set like this? Well, I do, but anyway. Um, if you're loving the video, make sure you hit like. Now, if there's any apps that I haven't showed and you think they're really cool, hit me up in the comments below and maybe in a video in a few weeks time, I'll showcase them. Now, I'm, over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be doing some cool gadgets, I'm gonna be showing some more cool apps, and also very unique tech to this year. So, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. But anyway, back into it, our number five app. Now, our fifth app in the series is called Reface. Now, what Reface does is an app that places your selfie face onto an existing body. Now, this can be a celebrity, it can be someone of the opposite sex. Now, I may have put my face on a Victoria's Secret model's body just to see what it looks like. Don't judge, but I did do that. And my girlfriend said, don't do that again, because you're being weird. <laughs> but you can have some real fun with this. You basically take a selfie, you place the selfie, it scans it, you choose who you want to be refaced with. And I actually place my face onto Captain Jack Sparrows. But you have heard of Captain Jack Sparrow. Can't do it. Why is the run I thought it did a really good job. It's almost kind of a little bit like a deep fake where it wraps your face around an existing face, but what you can see here it is very cool. Now it's a very simple app to use. Now this is a free app. Now if you wanna use the full features of this app, you are gonna to have to pay a monthly subscription, which I think is a little bit weird that you'd have to subscribe to an app like this. But in the free version, it does offer you a whole bunch of features that you can do and have a play around with. And you can put your face on GIFs. And all it does is it puts a little watermark up in the top left hand corner. But if you don't mind that, then this app is completely free. Well, that's been special effects apps. I hope you've enjoyed those five special effects apps. Now, if you wanna see more special effects apps, I've actually created a video a few years ago. Now, there are a few things that are a little bit older, but there are some cool apps in it. If you wanna click on that video, you can. Or if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But until next time, I'm Nick and this is Tech Space. <laughs>